As you can see, my hair is loose, sir, and I'm back into my um, pajamas. So right now, um, we broke for a session for about three hours to do our online simulation of our patient, because this is virtual clinicals. So I like to just get comfortable, close the door so Pete can stay outside, and I can just focus on my patient and try to do the best, because she is evaluating our assessment. Um, through a virtual simulation. So I wanna make sure I'm in a good headspace, I'm comfortable and I can get the best results. To my itty bitty titty committee who somehow gained titties during the pandemic. I just want to say if you're one that you just enjoy going braless around the house, especially while you're studying and trying to get comfortable, I found a brand for us. It's called Auden. They are so comfortable and nice. They support you. Uh, they love you. They are soft. They are amazing. I just want to get a little tidbit and slide that in there. I'm not getting paid to advertise this, but I'm just saying it's been a struggle where pre-pandemic, I didn't have no titties. And now I got things I need to support on a regular basis. So for my people who gained a little bit of weight, or like I said, itty bitty committee to something to support, that's your brand. That's your brand. I feel like with the pandemic, it's been so hard trying to find study spaces that I feel comfortable with. And when I can't and I have to study, I just I've been learning how to create my little environment or my I've been able to adapt my studies in different locations. I've been able to rearrange things, especially in my own home, to make it more comfortable to retreat to to want to study. So. If you're not really able to like study outdoors, I highly recommend invest in your study space, whether you're in a room or in a house. Make your house very calming to retreat to. Make your room very calming to retreat to whenever you need to study or relax or breathe. So that's my little takeaway. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Are you helping me do my laundry? Hello, sir. Oh, my goodness. You are just ravishly gorgeous today. Quite, quite gorgeous. Okay, sir. I'll, I'll let you to your nappy nap. 
Oh no, you want to come and play? Come here. I mean it this time. Come here. What's up? I don't know how it's the end of the semester, but finals is literally this Thursday. Am I prepared? No. Am I going to attend and take my exam? Yes. We'll see what I get. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to open that so negatively, but um, this semester has been one of the worst semesters that I could not bother with. It was horrible. It was like, it's always the professors that determine how a class is going to go. This class, I would say it was more so tasking than difficult. The material is definitely not the greatest However, it really does take a professor to actively engage and make sure that their students are familiar with the material and then answer their questions if they have any issues. However, this particular professor that I have this semester, it's her way or the door. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so yeah. Even though my final is this Thursday and I am terrified, I cannot wait to take it. Because you know what that means? That means I get to go to the next semester, to the next professor, and to the next chapter. I am so over this class. Um, If I haven't told you already, because I've just been rambling and scrapping pieces for this vlog, um, I am an adult too right now. Um, I'm saying all this, my professor in person, which I've only seen her twice, she's actually very nice. I think she's a great in-person professor. However, just like many of my other professors right now, virtual teaching is not one of their fortes. So you, you deal with what you have or you, I don't know what's the, the motto, but it's the pandemic, what can you do? But um, yeah, I just needed to vent and let you guys know that this is the worst semester ever and I can't wait to finish it. I did strong. I did start strong and maintained um, A minus in this class for about a good six, seven, six weeks. Um, this is the eighth week of my class, the last week of my semester. Um, I am at a C plus. It's not one of my proudest semesters or proudest moments. However, a lot was going in, a lot was going on personally in my life. And I feel like I did pretty good where, I mean, I still have to take this final and make sure I pass this class, but I still feel like I did pretty decent compared to failing. So all I can do is focus on the positives. That's one thing I've learned about being in nursing school. You got to... You gotta appreciate the little things cause you will go crazy, go crazy with every setback or little failures that you have. Cause at the end of the day, it's just a little bump in the road and there are plenty more coming. So you better be prepared. So yeah, that's my pep talk, that's my update. I will definitely update you guys another time and hopefully have this vlog done by the time of next week I guess I really don't know um but yeah okay let's go
leaning in, instead of leaning back. Leaning back, shows disinterest. Leaning in, shows that you're interested. Um, you know, face, directing yourself so that you're facing them, that you're not like, oh, well, and over here while they're talking. Um, not looking at a clock or a watch while they're talking. Um, you know, those are the types of things we can do non-verbally to let them know that listening so i'm trying this method which i'm pretty sure i've read is not an actual thing because i told my boyfriend i told my boyfriend hey i think i'm gonna start eating a little bit of honey before <laughs> um the spring comes because i have horrible allergies and he's like um i don't think that's um an actual thing you should probably look that up and it's funny because I'm going off of this, like, I'm going off this um, experiment based on what I've heard from my customers working at the bank. A lot of them have recommended, yeah, hey, just eat some honey right before the spring. And it should help create an immune effect or an immunity effect towards spring allergies. I have one of the worst allergies um, during the spring. So I am willing to try anything. And I'm sure there's other Haitian girls or women out there who were raised in the household with just with home remedies. And these home remedies worked. Listen, I can't explain it child there's miracles these home remedies have done for myself that my mom used to do so even though i've read articles where eating honey for an immunity towards like spring allergies is not a thing i'm still like eh. so whoop here's to my honey i'm like a sucker for ice cream so what i do is now I buy a Greek yogurt, which is healthy and not too fattening and high in protein, especially a vegetarian would, that's something that they would need. I just put my honey into my Greek yogurt. And it, it feels like I'm t eating ice cream, even though I know I'm not eating ice cream, but like a healthier ice cream. I don't know, but it tastes really good. 